Hey guys, we're back playing some more Ogre Battle, and I'm not on the emulator again. Yeah, yeah. And uh, today we're gonna finish off Castellation C. I believe I've killed everybody. I'm gonna leave Lons right about there. Or not Lons, I think this is Canopus. Yeah, I'm Canopus. Yeah, I'm kick Canopus. He did him, and uh, Osborne did most of the fighting for the stage there, so now we're going to liberate everything. Lons is, er, not Lons, uh, Canopus is going to do all the sky work, as he should have a ridiculously high alignment, because he was only level 7, and now he's 10, yeah, 87, that's more than enough. And he found Malden, the a walled city, and he liberated it. Yay! My reputation meter is pretty much full. Because the only, uh, the only, t I, t I liberated the temple that, uh, Canopus started at, and he gained a lover's card, which, uh, I want to heal that. Murder people, Porcus, fooled by the Empire, huh? Oh. That is true, yeah. Uh, but, okay. I think the main, the main thing you want to find is right here. But he pulled a Lover's card, which increased my reputation by two, so that pretty much maxed it out there. And we won't have any problems getting it... We won't have any problems keeping it there for the most part. Um, I probably should have checked where the freaking treasures were. And we liberate Pafit. Yes. And a star card for their agility, which is nice, because, uh, you know, agility helps out, helps you go faster, helps you dodge attacks, and they could certainly use it, because in fact they only have four, uh, guys in the unit there. Okay, so, wait, that, that was the important, I think it's there. There's a very specific town that I want to find, uh, because it's going to give me something very useful. And, and it's up, it's in the northern region of the area. Unfortunately, do I have any other light, high alignment units that can fly? Canopus is the only one? Yeah, Canopus is the only one. Alright. Unfortunately, Canopus is going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting here. Um, I can, if I knew where, actually, hold on a second, I will be right back. Alright, we're back. And I just had to get a map up of where all these towns were. This should be Mulro. Okay. Yeah, Alright, so we need to send somebody down there. Lance can take care of the grunt work on the ground here. This should be Ma Aksas, which also contains the shop. Tokyo is right here, I think. There's no treasure on this map, unfortunately. Which I don't I think is a subconscious reason. Okay, it's here somewhere. Come on, don't make me a liar game. Again, one pixel south. Oh Jesus. Kenobus apparently can't see things in front of his face. Alright. Yeah, I do. Empress, woohoo, charisma boost. Okay. Plus a, a great healing card. The thing about, um... Since it, I noticed it's becoming night. Yeah, black and white. Leave everything... Think for yourself. Yeah. Difference between good and evil and all that jazz. And up here, I believe, is the temple that contains what we want. But, as you notice how it's, it's turning back to night, and it's going to come back to day pretty soon. Uh... One thing I probably neglected to mention several times is that uh, as a unit, each unit's, uh, each character's cost is partially dependent on their level. As in, what class they are has a certain cost, and then it's times whatever level they are. So as units level up, they cost more, and thus you can have, if you have where, uh, oh, worry about living under a bunch of fish. Here, here. Boots, thank you. Here we go. You want a lot of these. 
And the reason you want a lot of these is because they are awesome. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'd like some revives, too. Uh, should be 40,000? Okay. Alright. I'll, I'll give it back to Boots in a second there. Uh, so each unit, each character has a cost that is rough, that is equivalent to their level. And, you know, their level times class, whatever, you know, his thing is 1320, he's level 9. Uh, Kane is level 9, but his is only 820, because they have different class rates. Well, Lon's might be different, because he's a special character. Yeah, see? 470, 1320, because Lon's is special and thus stronger. But, so, you know, you want to be careful about how close... Uh, okay, let's do this first. Man, I'm horrible at, like, keeping a thought together. Though this game likes to interrupt me at every opportunity that it can get. Oh, tower. Damn it! That's alignment down, and by two, which is quite difficult to get back. Yeah, we're walking with the gods, and he's gonna give us the sword. The White Sword Brunhild! Oh, yeah! We can now access the, uh, Sky Stages. I'll equip that on somebody in a bit. But first we need to send Canopus down the mole row here. But yeah, so you want to be careful how close you get to your income projection, where it says army expenses and tributes. You want to be careful how close you get to that, because the closer you get to that, uh, when units start to level up during the stage, you'll actually get over that and thus be losing money. And you really don't want that, even though it's not a... Uh, it's not a critical thing to worry about, because, I mean, obviously you can get by pretty much fine on just the money you get from completing stages. So you don't need to worry too much, but, you know, you try to... There's a, he, okay, he gets an alignment boost as opposed to... Oh, no, that's my reputation. Um, no, we already have one of those. The three High Knights? Yes, I have. Yeah, you'll need Brunhild. So, the High Knights are on the Sky Islands. They are also very much recruitable characters. Okay, we found Tongaleb, so we need to go to Saleh, whatever this town is called up here. Hopefully Lons doesn't go right by the boss castle. That would suck. If he goes by the boss castle, he will uh, fight with it. Which I can easily just run away from, but it kind of preempts the dialogue a little. Okay, he's not going close to it. Okay, he is going close to it. Damn it, Lons! Let's move him here, and then have him start up. Okay, he managed to avoid the boss. But yeah, so you want to just be careful about that, because like, Osborne, when I deployed him, wasn't worth a lot, but then he gained like, four levels per character. Good boy. Per character in the unit, so he suddenly became a lot more expensive. He's now off the map, which is why my army expenses are a lot lower. As you saw. Um, I'm keeping Warren and uh, Durin out just in case I miss some straggling enemies. Because occasionally they sit on far off towns. Like oh my god, dog. Shut your face! Stop. No. Okay. I'll be right back in a second. Okay? Alright, I'm sorry about that. Viewers... Hopefully we can get through this pretty soon, because even though I just got back from where I was going, I have to go out again. So, yeah. And we get a nice, big, healthy strength boost for Lons, as well as an attack card. I love this sort of thing. No, I don't know. Hunted and ate them? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't blame the rare people for being mad at all, actually. And there's a city right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send Warren... Once I get to him. Warren is going to be... There's no special unit that has to kill the boss this time. So Warren is going to go sit right here, as he usually does. Come on, Canopus. There's two towns he's got to do, and that's it. Come on, make it. Alright. Okay, so that's pretty much the warning about uh, unit costs and whatnot. Because they will go up. And, you know, one level, two level, it's not... Oh, right back to being nighttime. That's good. And I'll keep the moon card, because I may need it. 
Oh, well, they, they should. I mean, that's what we'll do. We'll liberate them from the Empire and poor Kiss. Hopefully we can not kill her, because that would be very mean to do. There's also a city over here. But hopefully we can do that and then settle this without much more bloodshed. And, you know, leave the Castellation Sea under the uh, rule of the mermaid people and let them deal with asshole humans who want to eat them. Yeah, I'm sacrificing my own people who are dicks. What about it? All right. The other thing I wanted to that I wanted to mention while I was talking about the unit class is the boots. They are called the Seven League boots, and what they do is they will warp any unit on the map to any town that has already been liberated. Town. It works only on towns, not on temples. And the thing about that is, is if you lose like a town, the ocean is. Meet the Witch Mango. Okay, that's where Canopus is headed right now. She lives over here. But if you lose, like, if you lose a battle and get knocked off the town you're on, you can pause the game, seven league boots yourself right back to the bat, the town, and thus refight the same enemy. Of course, you have the ability to basically heal. It works. You know what? Fine. It works, uh, basically, like, um, it prevents, a, if a unit, like, attacks your town, and then you lose the battle but cripple their unit, um, sometimes they'll run away. But if you seven league boots back to the town, you will fight them again immediately. And, of course, while paused, you have the ability to use other items to heal your unit. And easily, you could just, you know, even if you wanted to... You could have, say, Canopus. Say Canopus is the town he's on and now gets attacked by a unit. He can, you know, basically put all the uh, characters in the enemy unit down to low HP and then run away. Then you can warp a low-level unit to this town. And then uh, they can fight that same enemy unit and they can just pretty much finish it off and collect most of the experience for it. It's very unique. Um, I don't recommend doing it with the runaway strategy because I think units lose charisma if they run away too much. I'm not trying to stop you. Okay. Yeah, okay, you're going to listen to the premise of an empress. Remember, RPG rules. Kingdoms are good, empires are bad. And just to make sure this goes smoothly, because it's her as a uh, Nixie, which I believe is an upgraded mermaid, and then four mermaids. I'm just going to fool away the rest of her help. Okay, just go away, guys. And oddly enough, that card can fail. Which I always thought was kind of funny. That, like... Yeah, Nixies, instead of, uh, instead of having the mermaid attack of just a single ice target, they have an all-ice target. And, as everything, they're weak to thunder. 40, 50 from Warren. How do you miss?! Literally, it's like an all-target attack, and you missed, guys. You missed. And, of course, they won because they are the boss. Okay. Um, I don't have another fool card, but I don't really need it. We just use one all-heal on them. And they'll get... The great thing about having a uh, high-sky unit um, face a boss is that they get to... If they once they lose, they get to the boss really fast. So, like, they don't have to worry too much about the boss having a ton of HP back. Um, like, you know, sometimes there'll be, like, bosses in surrounded by forests or, uh... Like, fo yeah, surrounded by forests or on lands of snow, which slow unit non- forest and snow units it slows their movement down and there we go the boss is just right and the griffin gained the level yay unfortunately there's no extra dialogue we end up killing porcius but hey we liberated the castellation sea reclaimed the sword brunhild and there's one more thing i want to do before i end this episode off once this uh thing decides that it wants to let me do things Come on, hurry up. 
Yeah, 65,000 goth. That replaces pretty much all the Seven League boots that I bought. Save there. We have three stages open up. I'll cover where I'm going next later. But, come on. Okay. Alright. We can do this pretty much with anybody. I'm going to do it with myself because I'm automatically, uh... Liber I'm automatically deployed. We want to go back to, uh... This town. I don't think it's critical. There's just extra dialogue there because of the witch. Also, if you'll notice, I gained a promote item, which automatically gives a character a level. It's like a rare candy. It's really good. They're also really rare. You're getting beautiful mango. <laughs> yes, I did. What I want to hear about. And she'll give you things about... I want to hear about your taste in men. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, she just gives you a lot of background. The ogre battle... It's something that happened ages ago. It's a thing of legend at this point. The Sky Islands, where you can go and whatnot. Why am I flying across? But yeah, all that good stuff. You can look at it as well. I'm not going to show off that kind of dialogue. But anyway, next time we're going to take on, I believe, Diaspola is stage 10. So we're going to go there. There's actually it comes to a point where you want to skip a, a stage until way later, which kind of sucks. But I'll deal with that next time on Let's Play Ogre Battle. Until then, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, everybody, and have a good night.